Hello, welcome to the ASP.NET web form and entity framework learning by example project. And today in this video, I would like to show you how to work with the contact modules in this project. And also I will show you how to use the CK editor, ZIE, uh, ZIE an editor, what you see, what you get for content population. Okay, so now the agenda today is we will download the CK editor from the internet to the PC and after that we will add the reference into the uh, solution project in Visual Studio and the step 3 we will do the registration for this and the step 4 is the related step we use the adding code control uh, for CK editor into the project and after that we use it for uh, for content population in the project. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the here. I will search the CK editor. Okay, and the latest version for now is version four. And they are building the version 5 for CK editor. Okay. It looks like this one. A lot of feature here. And you go ahead to go to download the hyperlink here. And you select the right version for your purpose. Okay. And CK Editor is an open source application, and you can download it uh, for the free purpose. And for example, if you select this one, is standard packet. Click on download, and after that, it will download the file into the PC. Okay. However, uh, when you getting the new file from the internet into the PC, but the current version it does not support for ASP.NET web form okay so for now it is only support for the ASP donut MVC or the PSP or, or uh, another another short code I mean another programming language so now you have to get the older version of the CK editor in the version 3 it will be, will be fully support for the ASP donut web form application okay so now I already have the file on my PC and actually for now we if you want to file the older version of CK editor on the internet so it will be difficult for you to find it so now here uh, this one is a CK editor version 4.7.3 standard we have the download it from the internet and for now we cannot use this and I will include this for now. And here on my PC, I have a version is CK Editor 3.6.5. So it will be, will be support fully, fully for the ASP.NET. Okay, cool. There are the bin folder. We contain the two DOL for the, for the CK Editor. And another one is CK Editor for .NET DOL. Okay. And here we have another folder is CK editor. We contain the the short code in the Z file and the style sheet and some an, another example here. Okay, so now I will minimize this one and I will open the Visual Studio. And this is the solution we are using for our website tutorial. Okay, so by the way, you can download the uh, CK editor from the new list. You can go ahead to click on this one, right click on the solution, uh, uh, right click on the project, and you click on the menu new list package. You switch to Brow and you can type CK. Uh, the 
here. So here the latest version is 3 by 6 by 4. You can get it from the the new gist. Or you can use the current version of my here. Okay, so I think I can install it from the new gist. Okay, finish it. I will close this one. I try to refresh the project and see if we have any reference. Okay, so you can see here after you download the the code of CCK editor from the new git into the PC, so it don't have the DOL of CK editor for ck editor and ck editor .net added into the reference here okay so so now we have to use the bin uh, the dll file in my bin folder here i will upload this uh, uh, i will upload this dll file into the internet and after that i will do a share link i will put it into the description of this video so you, you i can go there and get it to the local PC for using later. Okay. Here I have. So after download, we have the script and the CK editor folder had been added into this script folder. Here we have some code. It looks like the code on my PC here in the CK editor. Okay. Cool. So now I will open the folder which contain this short code. Okay, so you can see here in the packages we have a CK editor 3.6.4 here added into this. Okay, cool. So now I will open my folder. I will copy the bean folder here. Put it into this one. Okay, close this. And now we do the next step is by add reference. Open this one. Right click on add references. Bro. Bro. Okay, so. Oh, sorry, I will get the, the path of this DOL file. Copy. Select bot. Okay, okay. Yeah, so now after that, you can see we have the C CK editor and CK editor.net had been added into the reference of this project. Okay, so here property it is copy to local is true and the .net is true as well. Okay, cool. So now let me use a project. Yeah, succeed. We have no issue. Okay. So now back to our website. We are working on here. This one. This one is a VS site. We are working on in this tutorial. And now you can see here when you click on the contact hyperlink on the menu. So there is the information of contact. I'm using in this project and at this time the in this information is hard coding in the short code uh, I mean in the ASPX file I will open the ASPX file for this one it is a contact here 
this one is a hard coding. Okay, so now I will create another page called the many contact. So in the many contact, we will do some the activity like we did for the um, user category product and news. Okay, click on user. So here we will create the same thing on this page. We have a add new button, a grid view to lead all of the uh, con contact from the system, and we have we also have some the action on this page like view detail, edit, and delete the content. Okay. So now let's get started to create a new page called manage contact. Add new item. Web form with a master page. Many contact. So actually, when you are working in a website project, you have to build a, an admin admin page, which allows the the, the, the administrator to or the author to do the content population for the website. And in order to do the content population for the website, you have to you have to create a, a login page, so the user can so the so admin will come to, come to this page and do the login by by entering some credential, and and after that when they log in into the system, we will display a a, a dashboard which contains some of the pages for the user management. Uh, news management, product management, and uh, content management. So when the user enters the data for the for the management page, it will display on the front end page. There are some the there, there are some page either contact, the home, or something like that. Okay. Okay, cool. So next step, we have to do the registration for this. I will go ahead to copy this registration. You can also get this one from the CK Editor website. Yeah, in the documentation instruction for you. Okay. I will have a tip. Okay, so meaning when you are using the CK editor on any page, so you have to do the registration on the top of the page first before you are able to use it. And now, next step, we have to add the control, the code control into the, the page. Copy this, paste it here, control KD to do the format. Okay. So now you have to enter the provider the, the ID for this CK editor control. I will call it the CK editor um, content. And we have by path. For the by path, you, you should provide some information like the path we can uh, uh, the path of the CK editor folder. Okay, so now it is put under the script folder. Copy this. Okay. Cool. So with into design mode. Yeah, you can see here we have a CK editor ASP .NET control in the design mode here. Okay, so before we working with the the content management page for this one to buy creating new the the contact edit and 
uh, delete so we should do the testing first to make sure this editor is working fine in our project okay so now i will go ahead to adding uh, an example of the button and the label so after i i enter the data into the editor here i click on the, the button so it will automatically display the text inside of the editor into the label there is only the, there is only the testing purpose so after after we make sure the editor working fine in our project so i will go, i will go ahead to delete the code and back to work on the contact management module okay button label I will keep it by default for now button double click on this one to do the click action it will automatically it, it will automatically generate the code for the button one is the action you click okay cool so now I have the I save this one I have the label label one dot take equal ck editor content dot take okay cool let me use the project So now I will copy the name many contact. I will paste it here. Yeah. So here you can see we have an editor of the CK editor has been displaying on the the website and we have the bottom we have the button and the label here so now if I enter the content inside the um, an inside editor here and click on the button here it should display the content into the label okay cool I will edit the content here this e chain e that the content from editor cool and now here in the editor I I have the menu some menu here we can do like the like there are some tools which allow you do some the formatting for the text here look like the same when you are working in the uh, Microsoft Word of it okay do the make this ebow italic submit yeah the same thing this one is what you see e what you get okay change the size bigger color background color Here. Okay, so when as you see on my screen here, so at this time the editor, CK editor, it seems working fine on our on our project. So now I will delete the current testing code and come back to the contact management modules in our in our project. Okay, let's get started. I will remove this. Delete, delete. Okay. So now I will open the code of user to do the copy it to save the time. Okay. I will create here something for the data asset layer. Mm. 
manage content contact sorry the you there then manage contact logic logic okay cool user user copy this Sorry. Okay, make this class a public. So instead of using user, we should change it to contact. Let me check. Contact Earth, contact you. <laughs> okay. We played all. Okay, so now we have some a method to return the contact earth lead. Create new contact earth, get contact by ID, update contact earth, delete contact earth. Okay, contact earth. I will copy this. Mm, okay. Medit contact. Public. Close it. Oh, um. 
contact medic contact data asirio data asirio contact atlet Okay, so now I will close, 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 close. I will open up the the view of the user and copy. I will try to comment out this one first, and will copy it to you later let's open the sequence server I want to see the structure of the contact earth table. ID, name, email, phone, and content. Okay. ID. Open this one. Mm. Okay. Actually, this contact earth table is it should be using for the user to submit the contact to the to the admin. Okay. Okay. However, in this video, I will use this one to store the the the, the information of the contact earth pet. Okay. Let you change this one to ID. ID. Okay, so um, no, no, no. View design. Okay, all of the column here except the primary primary key and noon. Okay.
So now I just want to work on the content. Name, email, phone, name, it name, email, email. phone, contact. phone content okay so for the content I will copy this one and put it here cool Name, email, phone, content, for email, phone, content. Okay, so we need to the design and I will add new something here, edit column number, this one should be name, direct to the many, many contact. ID name add new something e email phone and email phone email and phone so we shouldn't add the content into this grid view uh, because uh, with the content we are allow the user to enter a long sentence so when they enter a long sentence here and submit it to the server so after that you load it into the grid view so it will make the grid view be broken or it's very long so you cannot see it and meaning it's very long so make the ui look not good okay so now we shouldn't use it this shouldn't display it on the grid view when the, the user click on view detail so we will display the detail of the content name email phone Cool. Save it. So now we do some action for 
add new okay so i think i will copy it from the user user view code Okay, so now we go ahead to update the code. It should be the content management contact. Logic. name email phone
Ok So let's build Cool Ok so I will add the contact management on the top menu first Back to the master page Side of master You click on the add new button here to add the data. Enter some name for the content. Okay, we copy it for some RM. And because you see here, for now, I'm limit the user enter data into this uh, table is uh, only 500 character for the content view. So now we have to limit the data when they enter here. Where did here? Okay. Save it. Mm. Okay. Okay, go back, add new, but add a plain text, meaning we, meaning you are going to remove all, all the formatting of the of the text here when you are copying it from another system. Okay, cool, cool. I will release the first one and it okay cool the create new update the list and view detail has been cooking file for now okay so now I will open the contact page contact on the contact page, I will display the information we have entered here for this website. Okay, cool. I open the contact. Comment this. Okay. I will just put a label here. Label. Label. Okay. Okay. Open the con menus here. Copy.
okay I will copy the code like this mm, here E4 okay <laughs> so now here I can hard code I will ahead to hard code the query ID E4 No, need this one. So basically, when you are con it contains some of the information for contact page, there are only one one record for for the contact page, and the user can go there to and the user only able to do the edit and cannot do the delete and update. Okay. So here, but in this video today, I still display it full feature for add new, delete, and update. Okay. Yeah. I could copy the contact here. Mm. Back to the manage contact, edit source. Save it. Yeah, it worked fine. Add it a little bit. Okay, so I think that's all for today and after you finish this video, you know how to work with the CK editor for the content population in the website. Okay, 
So basically, you can follow this video to implement the con the, the CK editor for an another another feature we have done in the previous video e products news. Okay. So I hope this video will have fun for you and do let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later.